let's prove a few important properties of groups. If we can prove these in general, we know they're true for all groups whatsoever. It doesn't matter the specific operation, it will always be true. So we want to try and prove these in a very generic way. So let's start with this one. In a group G, there's only one identity element. So let's start, let's suppose two things, E and E prime are both identity elements. And I'm going to make a little bit of a note, not necessarily distinct. Well, let's think about that. If E and E prime are both identity elements, what is E times E prime? Well, E is an identity element. So whenever you multiply on the left by an identity element, you get the other thing. So that has to be E prime. But at the same time, since E prime is an identity element, we know multiplying on the right by an identity element gives the other thing. So wait a minute, E times E prime is E prime, but E times E prime is also E. That means that E and E elements are really the same thing. That means there can only be one identity element. Let's take a look at another important property. In group G, we have what we call left and right cancellation. This is actually really kind of where the algebra comes into things, because this is very much like solving an algebraic equation. If BA is equal to CA, we can cancel out those A's and say that B is equal to C. Similarly, if AB equals AC, if we have the same thing multiplied on the left, we can cancel those out and left, get, be left with B equals C. So let's start with the right cancellation. So we suppose that BA is equal to CA. Well then, let's multiply on the right by A inverse. So BA A inverse is equal to CA a inverse. But then we can use the associativity, that's a group property, so B times A A inverse would have to equal C times A A inverse. But A times A inverse is the identity element. So B times E is equal to C times E. And I should point out, I've been doing this all along, but it's very standard to just call the identity element equal to E. It comes from the German word for identity. Okay, but now we know that the identity times anything is equal to that thing, so B equals C. If we start with, we know that BA is equal to CA, the only way that can happen is if B equals C. BA equals CA implies that B equals C. I'm going to leave the left cancellation for you to do. It's basically the same thing, but see if you can figure it out. <laughs>